Good morning, everyone. Well, there's a glare coming in out of my sunroom. Let me change the position of this and see if it won't be better. Okay. Uh, that's better. Okay. It's so bright and sunny this morning. It's Saturday morning. Oh, and we've had so much rain yesterday. and But the sun is shining. It's beautiful. Uh, my great-granddaughter is having a birthday party today, and it was going to be outside. And uh, But the sun has come out. The ground's going to be wet, but that's all right. At least the sun's come out. We're going to have a beautiful day. So today we are going, I'm going to make for y'all another salad. Y'all have, y'all know, move this around a little bit. There. Now then, y'all know I've been doing desserts and salads. And I just wanted to give y'all another one uh, this morning. It's a broccoli. I'm, it's going to be a broccoli salad. But I'm going to do mine a little bit different than your traditional broccoli salad. Uh, in mine, I'm going to put an apple. I am going to put a carrot. I'm going to grate my carrot up really, really fine with my little grater here. And I'm going to chop my apple up really, really fine. It's just a little different take on a broccoli salad. Um, so I've washed my broccoli. I've got everything in my plate here and I'm going to make a dressing out of mayo, red wine vinegar, and stevia. This is going to be sugar free. So, um, I've washed my broccoli and I'm just cutting it up in little bite sized pieces. Roy's in the garden this morning, so he's not here to, uh, to help me with the camera. So we're just going to do the best we can. Uh, we plant things in barrels, big barrels, and that's what he's doing this morning. He can't actually get in the garden because it's so wet, but he is planting stuff in the, in the big barrels. So, uh, we're doing a lot in barrels this year because we're getting old and we can't hardly get down to the ground. <laughs> so we are doing a lot in barrels this year. Now this will go to our rabbits. It will not be wasted. Uh, and I'm just cutting these in just a little bite-sized pieces. You can buy uh, broccoli slaw. It's where they take these stems, trim them down, and they make a slaw out of them. And it's really good. I mean, I have I bought it before, and I love it. Uh, but we, when I don't do that, then we give it to the rabbits. And that's what I'm going to do with this this morning. So you can, now I have seen people chop their broccoli uh, and some of the tender stems I am cutting up in my, in my broccoli. This big thick stem like this, I am not, but the little tender stems, I will. So I'm just cutting these in little bite-sized pieces and um uh, I'm not going to make y'all watch me do all this broccoli. So, uh, but this is a wonderful salad. It is a delicious, healthy salad. Uh, and we've been doing Easter sides, Easter desserts. So, uh, and this is a wonderful one. And everybody loves broccoli salad. One to go on your Easter table. So I'm going to finish cutting all this broccoli up and then we'll be right back. Okay, I've got all my broccoli cut up, and I just want to show you. I miss Roy. He's he can <laughs> he can take the camera and get over in here, but I just wanted to show you. I just cut it in little bite-sized pieces, and like I was saying earlier, I have seen people take a chopper and chop theirs up, and it's it's good that way. But um, we just like ours like this. You can do it either way you want to. All right, and if I see any big pieces I've left. Now, I try to do mine really small because you don't want a big old chunk of broccoli in your mouth. Uh, so I try to do mine really small, and it's easier to eat that way. All right, now, uh, I'm going to put that over there. I'm going to go ahead and add, this is a third cup of cranberries. You can put raisins in yours, and this is, 50% less sugar 
in this. So it's not sugar free or no sugar added. It's just less sugar this morning. So, and y'all know me by now. When I say sugar free, I mean no sugar added. Uh, I try to say it every time, but sometimes I forget. So I'm just cutting my apples. I peeled it. Now you can leave the peeling on it if you want to. And it'll, it'll be beautiful. This was a dark red apple. And I started to leave the peeling on it. But I didn't. Uh, and I'm just cutting it. I'm just dicing it really, really small. Okay. Now if you don't want apple in yours. If you want just the traditional broccoli salad. That's up to you. But I like to just kind of kick mine up a little bit sometimes now a lot of times I do it the traditional way but this morning I said I just want to do a little different and uh and this apple really gives it a really really good flavor and when I I uh peel my apple cut it in half or cut it in ch in chunks then I cut that in half so I have the little bitty, little bitty dices. Okay. We're going to put red onion in it. Uh, you can put regular onion if you want to. The red onion is just pretty in it. Red onion to me is a little bit stronger than, uh, than the, I try to get the uh, white sweet onions. Sometimes, though, if the yellow ones are on sale, that's what I buy. I buy what's on sale lots of times, most of the time. <laughs> so, all right, this is one apple. I just cut it so I'll have little old bitty dices. I don't like to get a big mouthful, big old chunk of apple or a big old chunk of... Uh, onion or a big old chunk of cel uh, celery or anything. That's the reason I usually dice mine really, really small. Okay, now, that was one apple, one third cup of 50% less sugar uh, cranberries. Now, I don't know how much of this onion I'm going to put in it. Um, this is a quarter right here of an onion because I cut it it was a big onion so I cut it in half and uh, I'm going to dice it really really small too okay uh, I'll just have to you know what I'll measure it for y'all but I'm dicing it in little bitty dices just like I did my apple okay because nobody wants a big old chunk of onion. All right, now, I'm chopping that up really fine. I think this is all I'm going to put in it. But I'll measure it. I think it's about a fourth of a cup. Uh, this is a third of a cup. So... And it's not going to fill it up. So this is going to be about a fourth of a cup of finely chopped or finely diced onion. Red onion. Okay. We'll put that in. Now I'm going to take my carrot. And I just got my really fine grater here. And I'm going to grate my carrot. It's a really fine shred is what it's doing. Okay, and I'm just doing it in my bowl. I just want the orange color. It's not going to change the flavor that much. But if y'all know me, I do things different anyway most of the time. Ross says, honey, did you write that recipe down? I said, well, it'll do me no good because I won't fix it that way two times in a row. <laughs> Usually when I'm doing something, I like to do it different. Now, cake, a pie, you know, something like that, but just cooking. Uh, I usually will follow the recipe when I'm making a cake or a pie. 
but um but just cooking no because i may be making a casserole and i'll say oh this sounds like it would be good in it or that sounds like it would be good in it and i change it up a little bit so okay my rabbits are going to be happy this morning or roy's rabbits they're really his rabbits okay that was one carrot now i'm going to get a a spoon and i'm going to stir this up really good oh that orange carrot is so pretty oh this is a beautiful dish y'all i'm going to show y'all hope you can see it can you see the apple and the carrot mm, and the cranberries all right i'm going to put a little bit of salt this is just to your taste now. That's probably a quarter of a teaspoon and maybe a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. All right, now let me put this to the side. We're going to make our dressing and get a whisk. I've got a third cup of uh no, this is a half cup. A half cup of mayo here. I'm going to put it in this dish. All right. Now, this is stevia. I'm going to start out with two teaspoons of stevia because you want it kind of, uh, you want it kind of sweet. All right. This is red wine vinegar. Y'all know I love red wine vinegar. You can use apple cider vinegar, white vinegar. Whatever you want in yours. This is three tablespoons of red wine vinegar. And y'all will see me using that a lot. Okay. Now I'm going to whisk this together. And then I'm going to taste of it. And see if it's got enough sweetener or if it's got enough vinegar in it. Woo! That red wine vinegar smells so good. And it gives it a little, that red wine vinegar gives it a little pink tint. Really pretty. Okay. All right. I'm going to add a little bit more stevia. I'm not going to do it with that. So I'll do it with this spoon. This is just a teaspoon. I'm going to put two teaspoons of stevia. It does have enough red wine vinegar in it. That I wanted it a little bit sweeter. Okay. Mmm. Oh, that's good. That is delicious. Okay. That was half cup of mayo. We'll just say three tablespoons of stevia or sugar if you want to put sugar in yours. Three tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Okay. We're going to stir this up. Oh my, that carrot. Oh, this is beautiful, y'all. I wish you could see it. It's so pretty. Roy's coming in out of the garden. <laughs> I need you behind this camera is what I'm doing. Because <laughs> they can't really get in here and see what I'm doing, but it's all right. You want to take it? Okay, Roy's going to take the camera. Got it? Broccoli salad. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love broccoli With salad. With carrot and apples mm -hmm. and cranberries oh, yeah. and mm -hmm. the whole works. Y'all. Now you can probably see down in there, see the carrots, the orange from the carrots, the red or the uh, color of the cranberries. And so the, help me, it'll mm -hmm. take two years off your life. <laughs> All right. I'm going to taste of it for y'all. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Y'all. 
This is delicious. If you've never put carrots and apples in your broccoli salad, try it. It is really so good and makes such a pretty dish. I got to chew this up. <laughs> All right, y'all. Just a little different way to make your broccoli salad. Did you put red liver? <laughs> <laughs> Red liver, <laughs> red wine vinegar. Yeah. You better believe I did. Okay. All right. Roy loves red wine vinegar. All right. I'm going to let you taste. All right. Oh, yeah. Isn't that good? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -mm. All that's, right, y'all. That's edible. That's edible. Food feeds the family. Family feeds the heart. God feeds the soul. Put deliciousness back in your broccoli salad. So, we'll see y'all next time.